hello friends today we'll be doing an i i 3d tutorial based on a compact uwb antenna designing so that for that we'll be needing a zealand software so the software along with this is shown over here here we need to press over zealand folder this is going to get you a drop down list regarding the different criterias of zealand the one which we need is zealand program manager here if we click there's a drop down list again which shows the number of features which the zealand programmer has to offer the one which we need is over here this is known as the m grid <coughs> where we are going to design our broadband antenna uwb antenna the antenna which we will be designing is has the configuration as shown over here the proposed antenna is having around 25 mm to 26 mm difference and 1.59 mm height so for that we need to go for a basic parameters settings the first option is basic parameters here we get a list of all the components that we need to change the first is unit mm we are going to keep it as mm the next thing is for designing a new substrate the antenna is designed over a substrate so we need to have a new substrate over here the z top as shown above was 1.59 along with that we are using the fr4 epoxy substrate so its default dielectric constant is 4.4 along with this one more component known as the loss tangent which we are going to add it as 0.01 this 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 helps us to design the given substrate here we can see the substrate has been already designed at the top the next thing is we need to have a finite ground for that we need to select this double click onto this it's going to again open another substrate layer box there the real part of conductivity which is shown as 49 followed by seven zeros has to be reduced to zero this makes our ground so our basic parameter is done this gives us two of the list above next we are going to design the substrate now the substrate is of rectangles we need to mention the coordinates the coordinate is as follows minus 12.5 the x coordinate secondly the y coordinate is minus 13 here the z coordinate can be given as 0 next we need to have the lower left corner this has the reference point shown over here so this is lower left corner then the length of the rectangle is 25 mm as given in the paper along with the width is 10.5 and we click okay so here we have we first we cannot see the rectangle substrate but as we click on all we get the entire substrate drawn the next would be our patch over which the antenna is designed so again we going to go for rectangle here the x coordinate again is Minus seven point five, along with the y coordinate is one. I'm sorry, this is one, and the z coordinate is kept as same. Again, we are going to change the reference point to lower left corner. The length over here is fifteen mm of the patch, along with the width is twelve mm. The same procedure over here. We are going to go for all. and this gives us the entire substrate along with the patch shown now for feed line we need to go for different vertices so for that we need to we go for edit in edit there is a drop down list the one which we which we are going to use is select vertices we are going to select the two vertices shown over here the one over here and the one here this sign shows us that our vertices have been selected next we are going to go for advanced edit on in the advanced edit there are number of options the one which we were going is cut into polygon edges the depth 
of the polygon first we are going to go for width the width is 3 along with that the depth depth is 1 and here we have the cut shown over here next again we are going to select the vertices with select vertices this time we are going to select the inner ones the one over here and the one over here <coughs> then again we are going for advanced edit this time we need to have the edges drawn so we go for continue straight path now the continue straight path is going to have a length of 15 and the path width remains same as 3 this gives us the entire width now since you can see over here there is two layers have been created in order to merge these layers we go for the option shown over here this is known as select polygon so we select the first polygon and we select the second polygon along with that right click you're going to have the many list the one which we want is union and merge this gives us one entire polygon patch drawn next in order to feed the antenna with your power we are going to go for ports we need ports so this option over here is define port in port we are going to go for there are many lists but the one which we are going is advanced extension okay now we need to place where we want our power to be excited by for the antenna the one over here this one shows that first port is being created next we have to move out of this port mode as you can see now there the port mode is over next we go for process there we first need to show what is the meshing the meshing we are there are very basic parameter list shown the one which we want is the meshing frequency the highest frequency which we set it as 15 and the cells per wavelength is we reduce it to 15 so that our uh, calculations come out to be really fast next is AIC layer this is automatic edge seller cells which we set it to 1 and along with 0.05 once we do this this is going to show us the statistics of our meshing this is the meshed substrate which we get now we need to simulate this antenna which we have designed this shows that first the geometry needs to be saved so we are going to save this geometry save I'm going to give this a different name and now the geometry has been saved then we again go for simulate here there are different options shown over here the one which first we need to enter the frequency range that is from which frequency to which frequency our simulation would like to run so we will go for as it is uwb ultra wide so we are going to take it from 3 gigahertz to 14 gigahertz and the step size would be 151 then we are going to have now this is going to give you all the list of frequencies which are going to be simulated the next thing you have to do is you have to check a box these two options for current distribution and as well as for radiation pattern and after checking all these we are going to click ok yes you want to start the simulation so so now the simulation has been started and this shows the number of frequency points for which it is going to do it So we see that the simulation process takes a quite a longer time so we have already simulated and found out the results previously the first over here the diagram which shows is the current distribution diagram wherein we see the current how is the current distributed along the antenna the second diagram which is of importance is the SW s11 parameter i'm sorry s11 parameter this graph shows us for the ultra wide band frequency that is from 6 to 12 gigahertz or less than that we have the s11 parameter going less than minus 10 db 
the next parameter which we show is VSWR that is our voltage wave standing ratio this is the graph this helps us to understand that if our VSWR is either between 1 to 2 then our design is perfect so this is the quite an ultra wide band for which the VSWR lies between this range from 1 to 2 the next parameter shown over here is the Smith chart here as we see the Smith chart has multiple loops which lead to the function that for each drops in the S11 that you get for each drops in the S11 you get you have a multi loop found in the Smith chart these are the multi loops that you find in the Smith chart next the graph which we have is our direct very own directivity versus frequency the different dif uh, the different frequencies that you see over here has corresponding different directivities in dbi and finally there's one parameter which is left i guess this is all over and this is the way how we are going to do the simulation of uwb monopole antenna thank you